Harry and Meghan in decline. <laughs> well, the Harry and Meghan show just rolls on. Uh, nearly every day there's some new bit of salacious gossip, most of it of <laughs> little consequence. But uh, much of it centers on the couple's gradual estrangement from and even rejection uh, by the royal family. Does that mean uh, that Harry and Meghan are weakened and becoming irrelevant? Or are they still at the top of the celebrity world? <laughs> I look at both possibilities. First of all, those who would say, uh, yes, they are in decline. Uh, well, most notably, they've recently been given short shrift uh, over on this side of the pond. They did not appear with the uh, working royals on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the RAF fly pass that was staged as part of the jubilee celebrations that was a big deal uh, they were more humiliatingly assigned second tier seats for the jubilee service and members of the royal family apparently avoided even speaking to them having been warned of the likelihood of recording devices how low does this get harry was given only 15 minutes of the queen uh, no pictures were allowed uh, well, that eliminated the possibility of content for a Netflix documentary. How, how humiliating is that? A recent poll has shown the uh, Duchess of Sussex, Megan, to be the second most unpopular royalty among Brits just after Prince Andrew. And Prince Harry was not far behind. He was the th third least favorite. Not good. Uh, Neither of the Sussexes were present at the recent memorial service for Prince Philip, uh, their, their grandfather, uh, Harry's grandfather. Harry had a dispute with the Home Office after it refused to allow him access to the kind of metropolitan police security of the sort that uh, is provided to working members of the royal family. I guess he thought he was still in. Uh, they are reportedly working on a Netflix production which will illuminate their lives in California and their relationship with the royal family. Wait a minute. Uh, I thought this uh, was a family that was uh, waging a long-standing fight for privacy. That seems to be a, a contradiction. <laughs> uh, they have project failures. Uh, one of the projects uh, was a children's series about the uh, adventures of a young girl named Pearl and the Duchess was uh, acting as executive producer. Well, that's been axed, that didn't work. The deal with Spotify, which is said to be worth uh, some $30 million, seems to be unraveling since uh, little or no content has been forthcoming. And in fact, not much has actually happened in their much touted relationship with Netflix. Uh, they'll really be in trouble if that comes apart. They are beginning to look like yesterday's celebrities. Well, how about their supporters and fans? Those who say, no, no, they are not in decline. They're every bit as uh, famous and powerful as, as they once were. Uh, by any measure, they are the most famous couple in the world. Uh, that certainly does not sound like decline. Uh, Megan is even considered to be a presidential candidate by some. Joe Biden's sister has suggested that she might have a real shot at it. So, uh, fantastic as this may sound, uh, there are some possibilities here. And in furtherance of these ambitions, these uh, high-flying ambitions, she is speaking out and being listened to on a lot of issues. Her abortion talk with Gloria Steinem, a, a feminist a superstar of the past, addressed what is probably, at present, the number one social and political issue in America. Uh, she has become prominent in her support for gun control. Uh, she's always been vocal about the Black Lives Matter movement. Of course, she's an articulate spokesman for the feminist movement. So, Megan is out there giving it her all, and uh, in particular, she is extremely prominent. She is certainly not in decline, and therefore her couple is not in decline. Well, what's my take on all of this? Well, it seems up until now, it's uh, been all about Meghan, and uh, uh, Harry's been in the background, but, but shortly, uh, he's going to be in the spotlight. 
that's because it, it's all been building up uh, to Harry's book. Uh, many say that it is capable of shaking the monarchy. Prince Harry will, of course, set his sights on Charles and Camilla and deepen the rift with his brother William. Uh, Tina Brown said that, uh, that he can't stand his father's second wife, doesn't want her to be queen, and of course he still blames her for his mother's death. But uh, I think it's unlikely that this sort of thing will cause much damage to the monarchy. It's all, it's all old news. Uh, he will need something far more sensational about the monarchy to justify the, the hope and expectations for this book. And uh, he may not even have any such information. Or maybe he might be afraid to present it. Maybe he's afraid of getting uh, sued or, or even uh, blocking any possible uh, return to the UK, uh, burning his bridges, as it were. He doesn't want that either. He's in a quandary. Well, we shall see. At the end of the day, however, uh, we could be forgiven for thinking, does any of this really matter? <laughs> well, there it is. That's my view. I've uh, got a couple of others that you may find uh, of interest. Uh, have a look at them, and thanks a lot for watching and subscribe, please. Bye-bye.